Hallelujah. 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 I am sharing the message of our Lord Jesus Christ with much pain, with much agony, with much anguish of the fire of the Lord Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now see in the book of Jeremiah uh, in the book of sorry in the book of Nehemiah 1 chapter 1 verse 3 the Bible says the message that came to Nehemiah when he heard that the wall of Jerusalem had been broken and their gates had been set on fire and this is the message that the, the that, that, that Nehemiah the prophet received three they said to me those who survived and uh, those who survived the exile are back in province are in great trouble and disgrace the wall of jerusalem is broken down and its gates have been burned with fire when i heard those things i sat down and wept for some days i mourned i fasted and prayed before the god of heaven Dear brethren, this is the message of God to the church of God at this hour. That God is saying the wall of Jerusalem has been broken. The wall of Jerusalem has been broken and the gates have been burned down by the enemy. And when the Nehemiah the prophet, the church of God, heard this, they mourned, he mourned and fasted before the Lord God Almighty of heaven. And this is the same message that God is speaking today that the wall of Jerusalem has been broken, that the wall of this world, the wall of the church of God has been broken down. And this is why we see more increase of the evil. This is why there is agony in the church of God. This is why I cannot be happy. I cannot be comfortable at this hour looking at the condition of the church, looking at the walls that have been set. The walls have been broken by the enemy. The enemy has entered to the church. Look, even inside, the gates have been burned off by the fire. The enemy has stolen the things of the Lord God Almighty and the church of God, the church of God, many have fallen fallen this is the agony and the pain that i feel when i see the church of god today when i see the believers when i see the people who claim that they know god and yet when you look at their life you cannot see god you cannot see the light in them in them only darkness which is going through them look god is saying this that there is no holiness in the church of god look I am tired of hearing revival, revival, every, everywhere you hear about the revival. I am tired of these revivals because they are revival without repentance. They are revival without breaking out, the revival without wailing, the revival without holiness. Which are kind of this revival? I am tired of them. The wall of Jerusalem has been broken. The gates have been burnt down and yet there is no one who is wailing, no one who is weeping for the church of God, no one who is weeping for the restoration and the uh, of the war of God and for the for, for the restoration of the gates in the church of God Rook, the gates have been opened the gates of hell the gift of the gates of hell they have been directed to the church of God this is why there is a cry in my heart this is why there is agony in my heart there is pain seeing that the gates are even broken and the enemy the hell has opened its of uh, to the church of God this is what the Lord God Almighty is saying that there is no repentance nowadays, there is no holiness nowadays, there is no weary, there is no fasting. Look, this is what God is saying. When will Christ, God is asking, when will Christ will be preached to the church of God today? Preach of repentance, preach of holiness. We don't hear nowadays sermons of repentance. We don't hear nowadays sermons of wailing and even coming back to Jesus. All we hear right now is about prosperity, about, about breakthrough of going even to the foreign countries. But no repentance nowadays, no wailing. We don't hear about repentance. We don't hear about holiness. We don't about, we hear about the kingdom of God. All we hear is the gospel of this world, how we shall walk, how we shall be rich, how we shall eat and drink. Rook, the church of God has fallen. The, 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 
the walls of Jerusalem of the church has fallen and the gates have been burnt down and the enemy is already in the church of God today. This is what God is saying now. Look, the church is thinking and rust in sin. The church is decaying with the sin, with the feebleness, with a lot of darkness inside. Look at the youth today in the church. Them that used to sing the, uh, the, uh, at the front of the altar. Them that used to stand at the altar. The youth of the church today, they are committing immorality, pornography, even masturbation in their fans. Look. That is how God is seeing when he look at the, at the youth in the church. Look at the men and women, them that are used to stand. They are deep in the sin. They are very comfortable with this world. Comfortable with watching television and movies. No more time to pray. No more time to fast. No more time to call the Lord God Almighty. No time to read the word of God. They have no business at all. The church of God. Come on, come on, come on. Wake up, come back to the calling that the Lord God Almighty called when he first called you. Come out from the slumberness. Come out from that sleeping. Come out from that darkness. Wake up because the church of God is losing its salt. The church of God is losing its salt. It's losing the light of God. This is why God is saying, wake up all now. You will die spiritually. You are dying spiritually. Retro by retro. You don't know. You are dying. Look, all they say, all they say, they are saved. Everyone is saying they are saved. Everyone is saying that they are saved saved from lies are you saved from lies are you saved from immorality are you saved from falsehood are you saved from false prophets are you saved from sin and yet you say you are saved you are born again are you saved away from pornography are you saved away from love of money are you saved away from greediness in the house of god competition are you saved my dear brother and my sister something is rocking the house of god something is long today with the church of god if you can if you can be comfortable at this hour then you are one of the problem in the church of god you cannot be comfortable unless you're the one who has that error in yourself see Christian mocking Jesus Christ every day, everywhere. The church, the news, the global news, what, what are we hearing? The church intermarrying with the homosexuality, the marriages of homosexuality and lesbianism being, being done in the church, being legalized in the church of God. What is this that God is saying? We are mocking the blood of Jesus Christ. We are mocking the blood of Jesus. We are mocking the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. The walls of Jerusalem. The walls are broken and the gates have been, have been burned by the fire. We need to wait for the church of God. We need to wait for the revival of holiness. We need to revive back to God because... The God of heaven and earth is still alive. And what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah, he might do, he might do it to this dwarf today. Oh God, may he help us. May the Lord God Almighty help us. See, this is what God is saying today. Because of what the enemy has done to the church of God. Where are you, believers? Where are you who used to walk with the Lord? The walls of holiness are broken. The enemy has entered to the church of God. Look at the pulpit today. Pulpit is replaced, is replaced with entertainment. Pulpit is replaced with entertainment and exchanged with entertainment and, uh, and all enter entrepreneurship gospels. The gospels of money, the gospel of increase, of prosperity. The worship of God has been repressed with the wild songs, like discourse. See, where is our God? We need God in the church. We need Jesus in the church. The same Jesus that felt the anguish and the pain of God. And then the agony of God came upon him. And he cleaned the church. He swept the church. He brought out every nonsense that were being done to the church. We need, the, we, we need that kind of Jesus today in the church. We need that the power of the Holy Spirit in the church to clean out the, the church away from every evil, away from every deception and those entertainment preachers 
Where is the wailing weeping? Where is the wailing and the weeping? Where is the wailing and the weeping people? Weeping church of God. Where are them that wailed and being convicted of their sins? Where is the sacral in the, in the church of God? Where is the sacral in the church of God? Where is the wailing? Where is the repentance from deep in down in your heart? Where did it go? I am wailing for the church of God. I am wailing in so much agony for the church of God, somebody. Rook, where is the Holy Spirit that convicted sin in the church? Because nowadays you can see the church of God, how it is done. There is much sin in them, no spirit of conviction in them. You see that you can come to the church wearing a miniskirt, wearing something that is immoral and even something that is filthy, and yet you cannot hear and they feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Where is that kind of convicting spirit that convicted sin in the church? Where is that shyness that used to be in the women today? That when they see the exposed path, they will shy, they will be convicted, they will hide it where is it today the church of god the world has been broken and the gates have been burned down by the enemy and the gate of hell has been opened to the church come out come out and don't touch those unclean things and the god of heaven and earth he will accept you god is asking where is that convicting the church where is that convicting people that convicted our sin that convicted our naked and that are convicted darkness out of ourselves. Where is that convicting spirit? Oh, we need more conviction. We need more conviction in the house of God. Wake up the church of God because Jesus Christ is coming and the judgment of God is hanging to this nation, is hanging, hanging to the world, is hanging to the church of God because the judgment of God starts to the, to, to the household, to the servanthood, to the Christian, to them that confess Jesus Christ. The judgment of God is starting. Let us run away from the wrath of God. Let us run away from the anger of God. Because if we don't repent otherwise, we shall all perish. And we shall all be forgotten. God is saying it's time to weep for the church of God. It's time to fast for the church of God. It's time to return to the first calling. Where is the wrath of God? It's time to kneel down and to weep for the, those who weeped, for those who, who wailed for the church of God, for the women who did that. God is saying, stand up to your position and stand to your calling. Because God, the same Jesus, He is the same yesterday, the same today, the same forever. He is calling the church of God to this repentance. God is the same God. He has not changed. My dear brothers and my sister, God is asking us to come back, to come back to the repentance way, to come back to the holiness way, to come out from sin and seek him now that he may be found so that he may save the church of God today. Otherwise, the church of God is going astray. Something is wrong with the church of God. Wake up before you die. Wake up before you die spiritually. I see somebody. You are roasting the retro by retro. You are roasting your right. You are being consumed by the things of the world. By the things of the world. By the media. Spending a lot of time in the media. And even in the TV stations. And even the game stations. You are lukewarm. You are dying slowly and slowly and you don't see it. What is wrong, the church of God? The walls have been broken and the gates have been burned down and the hell is coming after you. You are losing your rights. Where is the first love? God is asking, where is the first love? No more fasting, no more no wailing, no more uh, prayers, no more singing. Only spending your time chatting and entertaining the body with the media and movies. I tell you the truth. When you spend your time entertaining your body, you are spending your time calling her to chase you. And you'll be cast to her because of entertaining the body and raising the flesh. My dear brother and my sister, wake up and learn away from the Lord of God. The signs are written 
in the skies, all of them, the signs of end times. Look at the condition of the world. Look at the condition like it was during the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Look upon the world today. The judgment of God is hanging. The judgment of God is hanging. Somebody learn away from the Lord of God. Repent and come back to Jesus before the Lord of God fall and strike the nations. Come back to Jesus. Jesus Christ is calling back. Come back and restore back the war. Come back and restore back. Establish the gate of holiness. Establish the gate of righteousness. Come back. Raise up from death. And come back to the right of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The word of God and the cross of Jesus. Come back and wear and repent for the, for the church of God. Because Jesus Christ is coming. And the wall has been broken. And the gates have been burned down by fire. Wake up church. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. May God bless you so much for reasoning those that teaching that agony, that pain that Jesus Christ is speaking to the church of God. Saints, Jesus Christ is coming. More information about this about that teaching. You can follow us as Watchman Peter on YouTube and Facebook as Watchman Peter. Also in our page of YouTube of our Facebook page, Holy Bride Saints, Holy Bride Saints, the Bride of God, Holy Bride Saints, follow us, Holy Bride Saints. Also on WhatsApp. You can contact through those details. Two fifty four zero three zero seven again two fifty four seven zero three two seventy four nine two two again with the country code starting with plus two fifty four seven zero three two seventy four nine two two God bless you.